Hello developers, today we are going to build a ChatGPT like application. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your own projects. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit which is a ChatGPT one click install kit. This kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands on walkthrough. Hello, hope you are excited to build your own ChatGPT clone today. We will discuss how you can create your own generative AI bot using the following. First of all, to create this bot, we will need OpenAI's API key. Second, we will use Gradio, which, is, uh, which will be helpful in showcasing this interface onto your Jupyter Notebook. Everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. Over the next few minutes, we will cover three key aspects. First, how you can download and install the kit. Second, how to get your own API keys from OpenAI. And third, the demonstration of the kit solution source. Let's start by installing the kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. You can check the deployment instructions here. To set the kit up, let's start. For, you can click on this one click installer. A zip file will get downloaded onto your local system. Extract this file. Get into the folder. Double click the batch file. Say more info. Run anyway. This will start setting up this kit onto your systems. Once you have successfully set up, you will see this screen wherein uh, all the dependencies will automatically uh, get installed for you. And you can go ahead and say yes. And the Jupyter Notebook will open in front of. This Jupyter Notebook will open in front of you. So. To be able to work around with the notebook further, we will need a, our open API, AI's API key. So to be able to get that, we'll get back to the kit page. So on the kit page, we see that the link to get your open AI API keys is provided here. So click here. And as you get onto this link, you will see that within the if you have already signed into the OpenAI platform, uh, then you will be able to get an option to view your API keys. Click there and your API key, if not already generated, can be generating by can be generated by clicking on the create new secret key. So very important to remember when you first time create this key, you should copy and keep this key for uh, into a safe space because you won't be able to copy it once you have created it so copy the key and keep it i had already kept it when i had created it for the first time so so this is my api key which will i be copying you should keep your api key completely private so i've just pasted it here and then i'll say run all So uh, now I'll try to explain you what is happening within the code quickly. We have uh, imported your OpenAI and Gradio here. These are the two essential libraries that are required to run this notebook. And further, we have used the API key to access the OpenAI's ChatGPT platform into this notebook. Further, we have our SART sequence and the restart sequence. So these are two variables that we have to set. And uh, once we are done with it, the prompt is what is showcased here. So this is going to get displayed. Further, we are defining two important functions. One is your OpenAI create and another is your ChatGPT clone. So when you actually try to access these API keys, etc. You simply need to load the model. We are using the text 
davinci 003 so this is pretty close and uh, close to the chat gpt so to be able to understand what we are doing here we'll quickly also understand this second important function where is where in you would see that we are trying to keep the history the interesting part about the conversation that we have with chat gpt is that we are able to retain the history when you communicate and it is able to remember based on your last uh, request or the you know the response that it has given you can keep asking it questions based on the last conversation that it that it did with you so to be able to keep the history we are initially either it is an empty list or it is something that is there like if some communication has already happened we sum the history and create a list and store it in s and then whatever input is being uh, sent next whatever is being in given as input by the user human that is being appended with the history that is being appended with the history and what we do we call the open ai create here after your query you have put into the chat into the text box or in the prompt the that is been then been passed as input from here into the function it gets into this prompt and then so we uh, call the open ai ai's uh, we go get on to the chat gpt and then we try to get the prompt i mean the response to the prompt by getting the return from return response dot choices dot text and then that is saved as output further history dot append will keep getting this loop run in a way that whatever history is being provided that gets added whatever history was i mean whatever response was provided and uh, whatever request was made by the human as a query that get appended and then you get the response sorry you get the response as history history that is being returned to you further what we are doing here we have created the responses or the interface with the help of gradio as blocks so what we have done we have used blocks and initially mentioned the markdown so this is your build your own chat gpt with open ai whatever is mentioned here is showcased above the yeah, as the heading so let's quickly try and see after we have launched with the blog dot launch we are actually launching it here you can also click on the url and get it onto a separate screen so let's try and see uh some amazing prompts that will help us uh use this gpt for in a efficient manner say create a 100 word blog post on generative ai we simply put this here and click on send and wait for it to respond so then it gave us uh you know whatever it could give us as an article then it is actually giving us uh a good amount of information and then uh we can also ask it to maybe recommend a suitable framework like that i can use to create one website so i'll give it a query that can you recommend a suitable front end uh, framework for my website i'm making an e-commerce website so let's see and then it is able to respond saying if you are looking for a suitable front end framework for your website i would recommend angular and then it is giving us information let's say i'll also ask it to do something interesting like write a pop song pop song for uh, leaving like something on leaving home from the sandy beaches and then it's giving me i'm heading home to the sand and the sun gonna leave my troubles behind on the run so yeah it tries to give you interesting responses where you are able to also ask it and create songs make poems and not just this you can use it for your marketing is i want to now ask it to act as a travel guide so i want to put a query like i want you to act as a travel guide let's see what the model responds with so yeah it's giving you that there are excellent museums to explore it is giving you the names the para museum so use it wisely for whatever you think will be helpful and hope this tutorial helps you uh, use chat gpt better
Thank you so much. Hope you found this session useful. Using a candy kit is a great way to build AI engines. You can find the link to the ChatGPT kit and many other ready to use kits in the description of this video. Hit that subscribe button and join us at the Open Weaver community of developers to learn more and build many more applications. Thank you for watching this session. Till the next one. 